Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this is lesson 30 and uh, you may remember that in last lesson we practice about alif zayda and excessive alif which comes in between the letters of a word. In this lesson we shall be practicing those words where excessive alif, alif zayda comes at the end of a word. Okay. Now again just a recap points to remember there are some words in the Holy Quran which contains a, which contain an excessive alif and there are two kinds, two categories, two types of such words. Type 1 where excessive alif comes in between the letters of a word for, for example afain okay uh, we made practice uh, last uh, lesson and type 2 where an excessive alif comes at the end of a word for example thamuda you know alif and it is pronounced thamud now in this lesson we shall practice those words where an excessive alif must not be pronounced at the end of a word either in wasl wasl means continuation joining uh, or in waqf pausing, making a stop. Now this is example from Surah Hud, chapter 11, verse 69. Now you can find here Allah in Thamuda and Dal followed by Alif and on Alif there is a small circle on that one and it means this is an excessive Alif and this information you can find on the margin as you have explored last time in lesson 29 and we do this practice and also the point is that for example a word may appear many times in the Holy Quran but if we know the rule we can apply the same rule to other places as well. So the word Thamuda is written with for, followed by, uh, by Alif you know this uh, excessive Alif, Alif Zayda and that should not be pronounced either in Wasl or in Waqf. For example, if say ala in thamu da, there will be no, uh, if we, you know, uh, making a stop, alif will be not, will, will not be pronounced, it will be thamud, because dal will take conditional skun and all, you know, the, you know that dal is one of uh, those five letters where is a slight bouncing sound, a jerking sound is needed. So we'll do this one. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا إن ثمود كفروا ربهم ألا إن ثمود كفروا ربهم ألا Thamud Ala Bu'dalli Thamud Now in the first line Ala in Thamuda if we make a I, uh, on the third word which is Thamuda uh, if I make a pause here that will be in this way Ala in Thamud Ala in Thamud. Whether you make a waqf, make a pause, or continue, this alif will be dropped. Once, once more. Ala in Thamud, Kafaru Rabbahum. Ala in Thamud, Kafaru Rabbahum. 
Another example of same word is in Surah Al-Furqan, chapter 25, verse 38. Remember, on last scene, there is a tashdeed there, shadda sign was there. That it means that letter will be pronounced uh, in one go, but. Uh, em with emphasis, with stress, because of their shadda, ashab al ras, okay, because we have to manifest the shteed as well in pronunciation. Another example in Surah An Najm, chapter 53, verse 52. Wa thamuda fa ma Okay, so each one will be reciting the first line, okay, and making sure you make right uh, work from that one. Okay, first, Numan. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ala inna thamuda kafaru rabbahum Ala bu'dan li thamud. Now, ala bu'dan, this tanween followed by la mushaddad, la mushaddad, and that nasal sound will be dropped. Okay, say again, ala. Ala bu'dan li thamud. Okay, Manan, you do this one. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ala inna thamood kafaru rabbahum Ala bu'adal li thamood Okay, good. Now another example from Surah Ar Rad, chapter thirteen, verse thirty-one. Umamun litat lua, and again excessive alif that will be dropped. Umamun litat lua alayhi muladi awhayna ilay. Okay, successful? Come on. Okay. Okay, tell me the second last word, Auhaina, must remind you about a rule of pronunciation, rule of recitation. Au Haina. Yes, Manan. Rufi Mad. Rufi Mad, no. The ha, it's pronounced from the top of the throat. No, 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 not this one. It's a two second, about two seconds. Au Haina reminds us of Haruful Lean, the letters of E's, which are pronounced with the, you know, with E's. Au Hai. There are two letters, wow and ya. And au softly, hai na. Na is a al madda. But you know this this word uh, reminds us of you know in within one word the examples of hruful lean. You see, madul lean uh, is softened. You know, it's pronounced with the. Uh, with an easy sound, okay? Au, hai. So this is one of them. Good. Okay, each one will be reciting the same line separately. No more. Do this. Aoudu billahi minash shaytanir rajim. 
carries a madda sign and awhayna also carries a madda sign that will be manifested as well okay good another example from surah al kahf uh, chapter 18 verse 15 lan nad'uwa min duni lan nad'uwa min duni Lan nad'uwa min duni Lan nad'uwa min duni Okay, make sure that's ayn, lan nad'uwa, ayn, one second only. Okay, there is no tinge of any. Okay, this is another example of Surah ar rum chapter 30, verse 40. وَمَا آتَيْتُمْ مِنْ رِبًا لِيَرْبُوَ فِي أَمْوَالِ النَّاسِ وَمَا Riban, this alif also will be dropped. Okay, riban li yarbuwa. This is common uh, uh, principle. Again, wa ma ataytum mi riban li yarbuwa fi amwalin nas. Wa ma Okay, excessive alif has been dropped here. Another example, Surah Muhammad, وسلم, verse for five, chapter forty-seven. <laughs> Okay, make sure the ba'adakum, meme sakin, followed by ba, it will be prolonged because here uh, ikhfa, you know, is taking place. Ikhfa is shafawi. Okay. Wala kili yablu wa ba'adakum bi ba'ad. Okay, this is again from chapter 47, verse 32. Okay, and if this is a longer verse for you in, uh, you know, in recitation, you can cut into small pieces, you know, now you can do in uh, two attempts. Wala nablu anna kum hatta na'lama al-mujahideen minkum. Wala nablu anna kum hatta na'lama al-mujahideen minkum. Okay. 
صَابِرِينَ وَنَبْلُوَ أَخْبَارَكُمْ Okay. Now, <coughs> this alif has been dropped. وَنَبْلُوَ وَنَبْلُوَ أَخْبَارَكُمْ That is right or wrong? Wrong. wrong. Okay. Again, we do. Can we do from starting from وَنَبْلُوَ وَنَّكُمْ up to أَخْبَارَكُمْ Okay. Do, we we'll do this one. وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ مِنْكُمْ وَالصَّابِرِينَ وَنَبْلُوَ أَخْبَارَكُمْ وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ حَتَّى نَعْلَمَ الْمُجَاهِدِينَ Okay, this is another example, Surah Dahr, chapter 76, verse 16 and 17. Here you can find the word Qawarira followed by excessive alif. Another word, Qawarira followed by an excessive alif in verse number 17. Verse number 16 ending on Qawarira. This time, we are focusing on the second word. Remember, this qawarira in the second word, which is uh, uh, verse number 17, this alif will not be recited either in waqf or in continuation in wasl. If you stop here, it will be a qawarir. It, if you do not stop here, it will be qawarira without alif. But this is not the case with the first one. In the first one, we can, uh, we may, um, uh, this alif will be pronounced in waqf. But if we continue, then this alif will be dropped. But this time, we are focusing on only on the second one. Maybe in the next lesson, I will be talking to those uh, words where alif will be recited when you are making a stop, a pause, a waqf. But if you continuing, then that alif will be dropped. There are certain places in the Holy Quran. Inshallah, in the next lesson, I will let you know. Here, first, وَأَكْوَى بِن كَانَتْ the second one, alif will be dropped either in was or uh, in a, a waqf in both uh, episodes. Qawarira min fiddah. Qawarira min fiddah. Alif will be dropped. Qawarira min fiddah. Now, as I mentioned that there are certain places where alif will be dropped when joining together. And this is one of the examples. Okay, And I will do starting from wa akwabin up to fidda in one go. And you find that both qawarira uh, at both places alif has been dropped. Okay. وَأَكْوَابٍ كَانَتْ قَوَارِيرَ قَوَارِيرَ مِنْ فِضَّةٍ وَأَكْوَابٍ كَانَتْ قَوَارِيرَ قَوَارِيرَ مِنْ فِضَّةٍ Okay, the word قَوَارِيرَ has come in Surah Naml as well, without Alif. Okay, so can find here yeah here verse 45 mumarradun min qawarir okay so here in surah dahr this is basically called rasmul khat and we have to follow the rules of recitation but this Whatever has been written is written there, but additional information has been given to us on the uh, on the margin. So, what to do with uh, with, uh, certain, with these examples? 
okay but we find uh, another that, that the right word is uh, in the pronunciation is qawarir so this is basically conclusion of uh, lesson 30 where uh, excessive alif appears at the end of a word and it should not be manifested it should not be recited either in waqf making a stop or while you are continuing especially here the two words qawarira qawarira the first one because it is ending on the uh, is, a verse is ending and this alif may be manifested and sh should be manifested and it will be kanat qawari ra okay in a, a waqf because you know one uh, verse is ending but the second one this excessive alif will always be trapped in both cases but if you continue then both alif will be dropped as we have done that one and this is the only one particular example in the holy quran in the next lesson i will be talking about those words where an excessive alif will be dropped while continuing but uh, will be will uh, be intact or will be included in pronunciation when you are making work another example same in surah dhar here in page 578 and verse number 5 and inshallah we will exploring that one in next lesson any question okay tell me last what is the function of uh, excessive alif in pronunciation Yes, is any uh, that will be included or not? Simple. Important include excessive. Alif. Yes, excessive alif, where whether it carries a, a sign or not, it will not be included. And there are not, not so many examples; only few examples that can be counted on fingertips. So it, it it is easy to remember and practice. And good thing is that that most of the time the additional information is given on on the margin, and we have to take care about that one. And there are certain places, yes, there they uh, lost the beauty of the uh, whole structure, but sometimes there is a drastic change in the meaning as well. So we have to take proper care of that. So with this, we conclude lesson uh, 30. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. شيطان الرجيم